I'll do a short video on EVLC's electric Chevy S10 pickup truck. This was converted to electric about 10 years ago by a couple of members of EV Riders, the Kick Gas Club in San Diego, California. It's got 48 lithium calb type batteries in the back here, lithium ferrous iron phosphate, lithium iron phosphate. You can see they take up the whole bed, but it works. The rest of it, it totally appears like a stock pickup truck, except maybe this plug on the bottom, which looks like a block heater if you're running diesels in the northern part of the country. But under the hood, well, there's no engine anymore. You see the controller here for the motor. You see the DC converters. These are two battery chargers for the 12 volt batteries. There's two 12 volt batteries underneath here to give you a total of 24 volts to run the power steering pump. It's got power brakes still. This big green box is the charger for the high voltage battery. It's about 165 volts fully, fully charged. Um, DC warp drive by net gain controller all pretty well put together pretty solid drives well it's got a couple of quirks and uh, some glitches I'm trying to work out but for the most part it drives uh, just fine big high voltage connector there going into the battery charger The motor is way underneath here and really not very visible. In the cabin, it's got your stock cloth Chevy S10 seats. This little control here is for the electric power steering. There's a little thing here which is the emergency disconnect. And this gauge on the bottom is real handy for telling me Total battery voltage, I'm at 152 volts right now. I've pulled 75 amp hours out of this battery since I charged it, so well, it's about time to charge again. And uh, pretty much no current pulled out of the batteries right now. I turn the vehicle on. You turn it on, like turn the key, like a regular, starting a regular car, but that does the pre-charge. And then it's ready to go put it in gear. I drive in second gear most of the time and press the gas pedal. Uh, second gear or third gear gets you where you're going. Uh, you do have to press the clutch when you're changing gears. The uh, voltmeter up here stopped working for some reason. The amp meter tells you how much power you're pulling from the batteries and that does still work. Driving the electric S10 is pretty much the same as a regular truck. I kind of leave it in third gear. Sometimes I use second. Speedo works. Tack doesn't do anything. The amp gauge will show me how much current. There's gauges down here to tell me battery voltage, how many, how much energy I've used, things like that. Otherwise, it drives like a regular truck. Turn on the power steering manually. The power steering is done by a manual 24 volt electric DC motor, which spins the uh, pump for the power steering. It works pretty well with uh, a lot of asterisks after it. Brakes have boost assist, so they're still power brakes. They work pretty well. This thing stops pretty well and straight. Drop it in a second to make this turn, but I don't really have to. It'll really move and I need to. Otherwise, I mean, it's a 96 truck, so it's a little bit old, but feels very solid. Kind of heavy. But uh, evenly balanced, I mean, it drives like a pickup truck if you're hauling a thousand.
thousand pounds of gravel, I guess.